Hey guys, uh, we are back with some more Terraria. So, last time we just finished exploring this particular part of the cave. Um, and yeah, I hope to continue on a little bit. Um, so, check here, nothing. I think I'll go recollect that torch because I don't like wasting too much. Oh, I hear a worm. Lucky us. I like worms. Oh, there it is. I'm not lucky yes, but you know, we went to play. I'm just going to get this dirt back because we don't want that. And I don't know if it's a problem, but I rewatched these videos and I noticed my mic isn't too loud. And I tried a lot of things to try to make it back to get it louder, but I honestly don't know. It's not working. So tell me if it's a really a problem because I don't, I don't know for you guys watching it. Maybe you guys are having no problem. It's just my crappy ass computer but just leave it in the comments message me like I've told this about 20 times but I'm gonna say it again just tell me what you want like if you find it the, the sound too low I'll put it higher I'll do anything for you guys to continue watching and I might sound really desperate but I assure you I'm not I just, well, I sort of am. I mean, I have no life, as you guys can see. Yep. So, take this dirt back. We are going to check in here quickly. See, copper. I'll just collect that. I mean, copper is good early game, but I mean, you really, later on, you're going to still collect it. Well, my trick is to still collect it and just sell it. You get a lot of money, and it actually adds up. And so, yeah, that's my strategy. But unless if you're really lazy, and if it's just five or six patch, then it's really no point. I see that down there, top bottom left, there is a Link Root Cave, which I will check later when this cave ends, because there still seems to be a lot more to come. So, yeah, right now it's just demolishing this yellow slime, because that's how I roll. He actually is taking it hurting me quite a bit. Can't see, it's fine. The marsh you should die soon, there you go. I'll have to take on a yellow slime, blue slime, you little loser. Come on, show some respect for the pro. Alright, so moving on. Pot, that. Alright, let's see if I can make this. Oh, Superman, oh. Nope, oh, I think I can do it, I feel it. Oh, yeah. So cool. Alright. There we go. But I, I actually like to play multiplayer not for, like, the actual playing. Just because you do so much knacky stuff. It's just fun like that. Because, um, you can't really, it's kind of hard to play three or four people, which is what I've been doing for the past few days. Because if you find a crystal heart, you're four people. You said who's going to get it, okay, but it's going to take four times as long to get max health with your people. And falling stars are even, I find those are, that's my problem in a lot of my playthroughs. Too lazy to actually go out at night and walk around looking for falling stars. <coughs> Sorry. So. That's my problem with her, I'm lazy, like, well, I don't know if it's lazy, just not patient. So, yeah, I hope this is entertaining, you guys, because it is fun for me to play, but I don't know how you guys are enjoying this. Oh, God. I don't know how this combat came out, but I think we're going to head back soon. Uh, I want to bring back this money though, really, because the merchant shall arrive, and I want the demolition to start anytime soon. Can't reach it there, no problem. Increase that, jump up here, get this cobweb. Um, that's nothing. Okay. So, cobweb is one of my natural enemies in Terraria, so to say. Because they just, oh my god, they're just so annoying, but they're actually of some use, believe it or not. 
Well, first of all, you can make some sort of armor, which I'm planning to get sometime in the game. It's called the Necro Armor, but I, w I won't say anything else. Um, and you can make a bed with it, which is actually, you can reset your spawn. So, if I had a bed, I wouldn't have spawned in that little encased place with that stupid guide. I hate him. I wish he'd burn. So, yeah, and usually a lot of people would say, yeah, I'm just joking, but I'm not, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I just hate him. He watches you die. He, just, he watches your face be, like, massacred by zombies at night. He should just burn. I'm sorry. Or even, like, kids, don't, don't follow my acts. They're terrible. But all of the other NPCs are cool too. So right now, actually, no, I don't think I have enough clay, so I'm just gonna take this. And as you can see, guys, I just proved my example quite a bit because I don't know if you guys noticed, but if you backtrack back to some of my episodes, you're gonna see a lot of clay just everywhere. It's almost, it's honestly almost as common as a like, copper, but it, when you actually find it, it's like 20 times more cop the clay than actual copper. It's amazing, I'm not going to like this. So I think this Let's Play is start off in a good way. Not by popularity, I'm just talking about in-game, like we actually accomplished a lot. See, you see clay, 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 little clay there, it probably, it probably expands more up there, little clay, yeah. I've, I think they're actually a little bit more common underground, I don't see it as much above ground, but it's definitely there. It's usually around dirt. So yeah. Mass for these slimes because I'm just so good now at this game, you know. Beginning they might have been a problem. Not green slimes, they're just pathetic. Come on, let's do this. Give me Yeah. So NPCs, you might be asking yourself, what are those? Well, in this game, there are seven NPCs, if I am correct. Um there are there is the guide which is mostly useless obviously there is the merchant which is the one of the most the main ones um the clothier which you will probably get one the last one you'll get the demolitionist the dryad if i'm i don't know if i'm pronouncing that right hopefully i am um sorry i'm forgetting actually now I don't even know how much I named, so I'm going to disable. Oh, the nurse. And I believe that's it. I know, but I have a feeling like always I'm forgetting someone. So, never mind. Now, oh, I think we're going to know what I'm going to do. I'm just going to build, obviously, those houses. I'm going to chop down this, these three towers. And I will make some platforms. Three for now, but I will make many more. So this is how my house is gonna be like. Oh my god, oh my god the remains of that bunny. So sorry. So I was gonna make a like nether house above this one, which is kind of like weird. You'd think that maybe that NPC would not be able to get up. And you are, you sir, are correct. But if they, they, I don't think they jump. Besides the guy, because he's like smarter somehow. Well, he's the guy. I mean, he has to know stuff. You get it? No. Okay. So if you just leave, like you just ditch them and go out to adventure, when you come back, to my knowledge, they just teleport there. Now, for an NPC to come move in with you. You need to give them proper shelter. For example, sorry, I'm not focusing on these bars right now. I'm just I am going to make walls, obviously. I think I already have some extra. Yes, so I'm going to make. You know, so I think that would be around it. So they need walls around the house. I replace all those around. Um, yeah, they need, oh, just for now, I'm just done that, okay, 
they need a sort a light source, which is a torch. You don't have to put two, I just do it. And I just left my door open to the demolish that zombie right now. Which I will do that. Close that. Close that. They need yeah, light source, the walls, they need a door, which I'm going to make now. Their own door. They cannot share a door with another NPC. Like if I was supposed to make another door side by side, like if I was supposed to make a house right here, they can't, like, they, they have to have a separate door. So you'd have to make like a, a little space here, then make another door, then make a room. So after the door, they need a chair. So I'm gonna move up here, place right there. Oh, wrong way. Sorry, I'm just like a fashion model. I can't just leave that there. Placing that there. And they also need a table, which is right here. Right there. So now one of those two NPCs, the merchant of the demolitionist, should spawn eventually. In the meantime, I am going to smelt all those those ores I found. So 16 silver bars because I found some in that golden chest, remember? 14 iron bars and 24 copper bars. So we are very close. We're pretty set. And I'm just going to place this golden chest right here. And I'm going to put my topaz in there, my bombs. Shurikens, blink root, blink root seeds, glow sticks, ores, I mean bars, sorry, ores under the specific bar that they're supposed to be in, and there's some iron there, I don't know why I didn't put that. Acorns, night owl potion, archery potion, some more copper I forgot about, stone, Arrows, short sword, grenades, sunflower, cobweb, boomerang. See, I completely filled that chest right now. So that's pretty normal. I mean, once you first get the chest, you probably can have a full inventory around. And, but once you get the merchant or the demolitionist, any of those NPCs, you could actually sell them all that, so for now we're kind of stuck with all these, like, these items. Like we don't need the acorns, short sword, blink root. We could keep or make make other potions. Again, I'll explain that when the time is, comes. Potions will probably use though. The arrows I'm not gonna need. And yeah, I can make another chest, but I'll put it there just to be completely in case. I don't want this completely like bombarded with items and stuff. So. Gonna keep that for now. And so yeah, I think this is gonna conclude this episode of Terraria. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you guys soon.